I've gone there. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, and a sexy voice. Really. There's one card that you'll always get, and it's this one. You'll always get this card. Because you have to do this side quest, otherwise you can't progress in the game. So this is one you'll always get, regardless. Yes, and we've just played the hit about the number of wizard cards there are. And there's an a image glitch, so it makes this the buttons come up again. For no reason, covering half of Mrs. Weasley's eyes. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Uh, before we go, sorry, I've got my mouth full of the boy. It should be the king. Just shut up, for fuck's sake. Lock card is stupid. If you've read the book, you'll know why he's stupid. Eh, um, he, he's actually claimed to have written books that he didn't actually write. So what he did is he. When I found people and asked them to tell them about what they did, and then put a memory charm on them and then wrote it as if wrote his books as if he did it. So in the case that's kind of fraudulent. I go go why. By the way, I've decided as a let's play, it's going to the cutscenes, the little loading screens are staying in. If it was a walkthrough, then yes, I would cut them out. But no, Excuse not me. enough, and not in the let's play. Brilliant. I can cast. Oh, hold on, I'm Oh, I'm cutting As it says, to fill your working well files, stand by the cold and press X. To drink the potion, equip it in your inventory and press the appropriate button. When Harry automatically runs out of health. No, I just won't say that again. When Harry runs out of health, you'll automatically drink the potion regardless if it's equipped or not. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Potion, uh, Mr. Mole Pepper. Eh. Yeah, there's some glass eyeballs in here, and I don't know what they're supposed to do. Nintendo! I don't even know what they're supposed to signify. Nintendo! Oh, screw this, I'm not wasting time with it. I don't even know what you're meant to do. Are you meant to hit them all when it opens the door, perhaps? I don't know. Sorry for not speaking much, but I'm having my supper at the moment. Because uh, Mum just brought my supper through. So I'm having that at the moment. <laughs> I'll shut up, Ginny. I know you're in love with Harry, but... That doesn't mean you can tell him what to do. Yeah, epically pointless cutscene occurs, where a lot of things happen that shouldn't really happen at all. At all. Quite literally. They shouldn't be happening. <laughs> um. Yeah, Dacity's going fine, it looks like. Hopefully. Great Scott! Is it? It's, it's You're not doing the stupid hugging scene that you do in the PC game, are you, Lockhart? Good. Yeah, in the PC version of this, he hugs Harry for no reason. I don't even know why he does it. I mean, that shows how retarded he is. He doesn't do anything in this game anyway. He only just teaches you Expelliarmus and that's it. That's all he does in this game. He has no other purpose. Ooh, Lucius Malfoy, you're an evil shitbag. We see multiple times, and we've already seen already. Oh, the sharpness isn't too bad. 
Yeah, it's I can see really the sharpness sharp. difference. Yeah. That little bit there is just when I changed the sharpness, so I've made it really sharp to make it clear quality. Malfoy is a lot tinier than he should be. And just shut the fuck up, you pointless bastard. Honestly, you don't do anything for this. Why are you talking? Why are you talking shit? We've missed the train, what the fuck? So what about Ginny and the rest of them? They've all missed the train too. And in, in five minutes, we've missed the train. So what about Malfoy? They've missed the train. And that only happened about five seconds ago. What the? Continuity for the fail here. Honestly. I mean, that is pathetic. They don't even actually show that they missed the train. And Mr. Guy who talks to himself is in the background doing shit at all. So we're gonna go to Hogwarts even though a load of other people have missed the train too. Okay. Uh, I don't even understand the point of that at all. What about everyone else? They've missed the train too. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron. Uh, now, have we got everything? Yes, we've got the, uh, to complete, to can go to Hogwarts, you've got to actually buy the potion vials. If you've not purchased it, you won't go to Hogwarts. So we'll just go up to him and say talk. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Yeah, to zoom like I'm doing, just, in the, on the right analog stick, just push it in and it'll zoom. Which is a great feature, actually, when you're trying to see what people are saying or stuff. over the tree again why are they turning around what the and they're passing over it again what this is bad and Harry does not do anything to, to stop his fate of crashing into the fucking tree that just shows how bad the continuity in this is they pass over the tree then pass over it again and then pass over it again I just don't understand that at all and Harry would have actually been killed had it not been a specific plot device so that he would survive so yes, it's a pathetic plot device, yes, so now we've got to go and save Ron, for no reason. Uh, go along here, uh, down there is the exit, I think it is, no, yeah, down there is where you have to come to, so yeah. Uh, Lumos will be quite handy in this situation here. Jumping for the fail. For no reason, Harry just jumps off there. That just looks so wrong, that. That just looks so wrong. I pushed us, fuck all. What the fuck, Harry just jumps into thin air? Oh my god. That was just a big jump. I hope I haven't screwed the camera out. Yeah, chocolate frog here for no reason there at all. Thank you. Hey, give me a proper camera angle. Oh my god. I jammed the camera angle! Come on. You. Damn. Oh, come on, give me a proper angle, you cunts. Oh shit, I fucked up my camera. Oh, shit. Oh, give me a proper camera angle, you... Come on, I want a proper camera angle here, for fuck's sake. Right, hold on a second. I'm gonna just save this and get a proper angle back, because I hate that camera angle, it sucks. That's the problem with this game, it just glitches like that for no reason. So we're gonna save and come back into the game. I hate him when it does that, it's so annoying. I don't even know why it does it. It just... <coughs> just does it for no reason, I don't know why. Sorry about the extended, extended bit of 
this this should have happened, so I don't know why that camera angle occurred. Sometimes it happens, I don't know why. Odd. Okay. Okay, we'll try again and hope the angle doesn't fuck up. Oh! Oh my! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> we died again! <laughs> if you fall off the edge of the tree, you die. I am not doing well at all here. I know I've played this game like loads of times and I've like won most of the time. Right now I am failing to do anything helpful. It's become more a let's play of me failing to play this game instead of an actual let's play of showing you how to play the game. It's showing you how to die a lot and how to get bad shitty camera angles. Now please don't fuck up again. Because I will shoot you. Oh for fuck's sake! I hate it when it does that. Do I even try to fight them? It's pointless. Yeah, this slimline PS2. Um. Oh for what the fuck! You can't just attack me, but then you pull your string back. That's just delusional. Uh, well. Oh wait a second. Buffalo paws be, can be hit with a pendulum I picked up and thrown. Be careful however as their spores could cause dizziness. <coughs> yeah, don't hit them with a pendo, it's stupid. Ooh. Oh shit. Pick them up, stand in their spot, chuck them and then move out of the way quick please. And across. If you stand on their little spawn point and uh, they won't spawn. So you're lucky. Stupid thing. That was a stupid pathetic jump. You can actually get avoid that altogether by just walking around it, so yeah. Uh what now? Okay, don't care if it is a chocolate frog. There are a couple of wizard cards here, but they're not until later. <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing. I actually might get through more than I expected today. You can cast for pen. Oh, I just realised I haven't assigned something to my. I need to assign stick pellets. I just assign them just to have all my buttons filled up. It's like I've done something. Yeah, can I have a chuck a stink pellet at it or a cast for pendo? They both work. I used to always chuck stink pellets at them instead of actually. No. Instead of casting for Pedro. Now the problem with stink pellets is that you actually have to be right next to your target for it to be any use. So if you're not going to expel the Armist, it's a bit pointless to use them anyway, because they will have no effect. You'll just be caught before they can do anything. And if you watch Zeppelin G's Prince of Azkaban walkthrough, you, had, you could be at any range to, cut, uh, to chuck them. So yeah, there are many objects in the world which, when hit with a pedal, will increase the size of the main need of your adventure. So it can be anything. And it'll always go for the thing that it's, that it's lowest first. So it says, I don't need anything, then these are casting. Fuck all. I mean, they're not. If there's nothing to spawn, they won't spawn anything. Now, when you walk in here, you'll have a battle, and that tree collapses for no reason. Okay. Now, you've got imps around here, and. To target opponents on a higher level than you, use R1. Oh my god, it cast a spell for me. Just cast Flipendo at any random imp that comes in range, because that'll work. There should be more imps, yes, there's some more up there. Whoa! That was close. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not doing very well here. You can't hit the same imp twice in a row. You've got to hit another imp for it to count. Yeah, when you get a full health meter, they'll all piss off. Like so. 